Hello, this is John W7DBO with the Field Radio Podcast. If you want to learn more about how to get your gear and get outdoors, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you do not miss anything. I have just returned from the Orlando Hamcation 2018, and while there, I got some interviews to bring to you. This is an interview with Dwayne KM4HCN with the Bears organization, and they have quite the impressive communications motorhome. So let me take you on the tour. So we're here at the uh, Hamcation 2018 in Orlando, and we are at the Bears uh, Com Trailer. Uh, this has been here. I've been here three years, and you've been here every year. And so, yes. What does Bears stand for? Bears is Brevard Emergency Amateur Radio Services, and we're a consortium of about 12 uh, emergency communications clubs within Brevard County. So not only amateur radio, but also REACT, Space Coast REACT is a member, and MARS, Military Amateur Radio Service. We all have representatives that come and each club provides a representative and they're, that uh, forms our board of directors. Okay, so we're gonna, do you mind giving us a little like a, a quick tour here, the, the capabilities of the system? I'll be glad to. We have uh, four operating positions here within BEARS. The, every position has a dual band radio for uh, talking to people and uh, controlling the different things. Here at position one, we have amateur TV. So we can have a camera up on our tower, or we have a what's called a walkie-looky, just a little Sony handy cam with an antenna. We transmit 1.2 gigahertz to the vehicle, and then we can retransmit out so they someone can pick it up on their cable-ready TV that has an antenna plugged in uh, on channels 58, 59, or 60, and all like that. We also have FRS, GMRS capabilities. I'm not president. We have uh, radio here for VHF Marine radio capability. We have packet and Red Cross radios, so we can talk uh, internationally with the Red Cross. Stephanie's thrown like 2,000. We have CBs. Uh, our HF yeah, capability, uh, our HF radios are modified for Mars military amateur radio services so we can talk to the military. We also have uh, part of Sedan for the state of Florida has the statewide emergency digital area network. We're a member of that. We have that capability. We do FL Digi, Winlink. Uh, we uh, have an Ethernet here within the uh, vehicle, so all the computers and printer and everything can talk together. We can also hook up for wireless uh, Wi-Fi capabilities. We also have uh, D-Star radios, and with Brevard County, we also have two county 800 megahertz uh, trunked radios, so we can talk directly to the county's emergency dispatchers directly. We also have the capability of doing APRS, and on that we can not only transmit our position out, but we can also transmit the weather that we have on our weather station up on top of the vehicle. We can transmit that information out. We also have a scanner that we use in conjunction with rocket launches from Kennedy Space Center. We have a direct patch at our uh, yeah. repeater to be able to uh, patch in a uh, phone patch for ULA or NASA launches. We have the capability of doing the phone patch, so when they say zero, you look and that's when it's launching. SpaceX, we take the internet feed, put it on the repeater, we receive it here put it through our uh, audio amplifier up to speakers so anyone around us will be able to hear the countdown audio as well as we have um, let's see that's we have our uh, over here we have our patch panels because with the video all the video distribution and audio distribution ethernet and then down here at the bottom rf so we can patch any of the radios to one of the many antennas that we have whether it be a rooftop mount antenna 
or antennas up on our uh, tower. And with our upper tower that we, uh, antenna that we have now here from Orlando, I can reach our repeaters over in Brevard County by Kennedy Space Center, near Kennedy Space Center from this distance. We're getting ready some upgrades that we're looking at doing uh, right now. We're looking at digital uh, ATV as an improvement, also as uh, the aircraft frequency, uh, be able to transmit and receive uh, on those frequencies, get that radio capability here within the vehicle. That's an upgrade so, here for the future. Said to me, okay, so thank you for this tour. How do how do people get a hold of you? And I, I notice you take do you take donations online. Uh, yes, the vehicle here is supported strictly uh, by donations. We have several websites. The best one to go to right now is uh, our newest one is BrevardBears.org, and it has a link to all the uh, different clubs that make up bears. Uh, from Titusville to Palm Bay, uh, Coco, Merritt Island, Kennedy Space Center, all of the clubs, even Space Coast React. Just go ahead and get a hold of it. All right, thank you very much for the, the tour, Dwayne. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for watching. This is John W7DBO with the Field Radio Podcast. Until I see you next time, get your gear and get outdoors, and I'll see you on the air. 73.